Uh, hey, we have to remember when Len is on on Friday, he was talking about that show on frogging, like people that live in mm-hmm. your house without you knowing it. Al sent us an email uh, saying that there was a term in North Carolina in re- realty listings, F-R-O-G, for finished room over garage and suspected that maybe that's where frogging the origins of the frogging term. That is the most Len Peralta thing I've heard in days. Oh, he's watching a reality show about it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's about people who live in your house and you don't know they're there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like like that. Someone was living in my house. First first of all, they'd have to hide really well because I have a small house. (laughs) Uh, Second, I'd be like, I don't know what I would do. Like, I don't don't know. I mean, this is not like an intruder who's going to rob you. This is just someone who's just living in your house unbeknownst yeah well, yes I would be that like, is the idea i feel Although like there, you should pay me rent there's probably three weeks right at the peak of summer where it never really gets dark at all like it's just daytime the whole time mm-hmm. what, what does this keep vampires away from alaska with vampires couldn't they just get like some really high high spf sunblock well, and not have to worry about being in the sun. It depends on the really, type of vampire, right? Yeah, it really What about their the eyes? Vampire. The vampires that catch on fire with the sun, I don't know if I'd trust, yeah. you know, you miss a spot and you're inflamed. It's, it's the burning like hemorrhoids on your skin. Is it like that kind of fire? I'm, I like, wonder, like hemorrhoids on your skin. That's a very uh, interesting. For, for the Anne Rice vampires, it's actual <laughs> conflagration, like they actually burst into flames. Oh, the actual combustion. Yeah, I think I think they go right past hemorrhoids to yeah, straight yeah. to conversion. Ah. I'm wondering because vampires are so sensitive to sunlight, could you use them as sort of radiation detectors? Because I'm sure there's certain spectrums oh. that are like yeah, you just, like what what actual spectra set off yeah. a vampire? So if so if you like worry about the, like the name the vampire in the nuclear lab. Yeah. Is yeah. that a movie? That has the to old, be the old phrase. Yeah. Canary in a coal mine? No. Yeah. Vampire yeah, in the like, nuclear lab. Uh, Instead of yeah. wearing that little capsule yes. on your uh, shirt that tells you... You, you wear a very small radiation. vampire on your shirt. No, you just yeah. send them in. If they burst into flame, <laughs> then you know. It's like, eh. So, Lynn, I know you wanted to bring up uh, the, the Star Wars show Andor. Oh, Andor. So, yeah. yeah. So what, um, what are you thinking? Are you liking it? You know, I am now. The past two episodes, I think, are some of the best things. Uh, that's so you didn't like it at first. Sounds good. I wasn't. I wasn't on board. I will say this. I. I. I then say it. I, I coughed up money figuratively to 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 for Disney just to watch it. Yeah. I've watched through all the other Star Wars stuff. This is the first one that has actively made me want to watch each new release, like the, at least yeah. if not the same day, the next day. And and I think the things in favor of Andor is. It's about oh, it's about a story set in the world of Star Wars, so mm-hmm. it's familiar mm-hmm. to Star Wars fans. But it's a story that stands on its own, or at least it's trying that, to be. Yes. Yeah. By the way, Lamar Wilson is very upset that he's not on a show where Roger likes something. He's in our <laughs> chat right now. He's like, oh, he waits until I'm off the show to like things. I get it. Yeah.